Another gorgeous morning on the Alagnac River at Alaska Trophy Adventures. Today we're headed up river. It's looking pretty fishy. We got a little rain. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go catch some fish. This is a nice silver hole and the past has been one of our better. And this uh, whole stretch right here can hold silvers. They'll really pile up down here in the pot in the hole down here. Mm -hmm. But I've caught them all the way up into this kind of shallowy stuff up here. Mm -hmm. We had a little bit lighter light. We could be spot fishing them, but uh, it's a little too flat to even see them. Sure. But, so we're going to take just a couple casts really at the bank and then swing through just a slight bit and then strip back to ourselves. What do you mean do for the viewers at home? What do you mean by swing through? So the fly, after it hits the water, it'll naturally make a swing downstream. Mm -hmm. And that will sometimes, we'll get lots of hits on the on the swing. More often in this kind of pool, we get more hits on the strip. That's a Cromer. I'm on the reel, Mike. All right, if he's gonna run, don't hold that line, Mike. Don't touch the reel unless you're reeling. Don't touch the reel. There you go. Hey, fish on first thing in the morning here. And it looks pretty chrome. I also have a rod then. Woo! Yeah! Don't touch the reel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch the reel. Put your hand at your shoulder. I've got a floating line with a weighted fly and that fish hit it the second the second that fly hit the water it was fish on I love catching salmon in the river yeah they just fight so good you know no flashers no downriggers this is just one on one with the fish you and the fish <laughs> Mike you're not having any fun are you <laughs> no, this, this, is, this is not fun. This is good. Like, this is like work. <laughs> I should be punching a clock. <laughs> Tyler, this is a hoot. It's not a bad time, is it? Oh man, everyone. Right yeah, saw that. Getting close. He's worn down. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Don't move, don't move your feet. 
You move and you feed it back. All right, now crank in that fish. Move your feet. That's a good size symbol. Go, let go. Left hand high. Good. Woo! Perfect. Nice fish. Yeah. He's not afraid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's gonna have a look at me and not like it. So be ready to so let go again, okay? <laughs> This is too much fun. Come on, fishy. Won't you ride back that way? Get his head up. Yeah! Nice, oh, man. Nice. <laughs> Told you, we get this one. That is a nice big buck. Carl the Coho right there, folks. Ed, thank you for the tutorial. You're welcome. Definitely different playing a fish on a fly rod versus a, like a spinning rod. Way different. And uh, yeah, your guidance was really helpful. All right, what a beautiful fish. I love the coloring. Let's let him go back and do his thing. Nicely done, sir. Thanks, Chad. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We're out here. We've been all over the Alagnac River with guide Chad out of Alaska Trophy Adventures. And right now, we're inside of the logs, Chad. We are pretty close. <laughs> yeah. As we get into it here, you got us kind of, you're pulling us in and, uh, to this slough. And where, what side, what are we looking for here to target coho? So the way I like to explain it is that the river is a highway system with a lot of rest stops. So when you go on a road trip, you, you get on the highway and you drive and then you find a place to rest, go to the bathroom, get some food, whatever. Well, salmon aren't really looking for food, but they are looking for a place to rest. Okay. And so I'm just looking for some softer water that's off of the main channel where the fish come up the main channel and then they pull into a rest stop. Okay. And so you just, you use the river as a highway and fish in the rest stops. Slower. Yep, slower moving water. Well, they don't have to exert themselves so much to, uh, you know, right. stay. Right. Stay where, they don't want to go backwards. No, it's not in their DNA to go backwards. Yeah. It's, it's programmed in to just keep moving ahead. Sure. Uh, but a lot of times, like this rest stop, it's, when, it's within sight of the lodge and most everything that's in this rest stop right now is going to go right back out here onto this gravel bar and spawn, you know, within probably 10 days. We split off from Mike and Britton. They're working up above us. Yeah, with Tyler. With Tyler, uh, kind of the same thing. And we'll come back to them right after this. Don't touch Real. This is a big silver. Oh. Woo! Yeah, baby. Pressure on that rod, perfect. Yep. I've got a seven, eight rod, which is gonna be great back in Montana on the Missouri River. But uh, I don't know, that's probably <laughs> about a 10 pound fish. You're, you're looking at about a 10 pound silver there, Mike. It's uh, got a, not a, a little less backbone than I prefer on that rod, but 
You should yeah. be all right. We just got to play it pretty carefully. Try to keep him out of that current, Mike. Zach, Mike, I am going to have you walk this way. Yeah. Keep pressure on that rod, though. Let's try to drag him so he won't work into this. Yeah, if he gets in that current, he's going to Yeah, be... he's going to go, he's going to go by. Yeah. There you go, perfect. What a fight. He's still out there a good 20 yards or so. Come on, dude. Oh, man. Come on, get back here. Real? All right, he's looking like he's getting ready here. He's gonna look at me though and not like me very much. Nice work, Mike. Keep that pressure on him. Boy, this would spoil a guy. <laughs> this would really spoil a guy for sure. Come on, baby. Whoa. It's crazy. He's still got so much power. Oh, he's got a lot of fight in him. The big old buck. Nice work, Mike. Look at him. That fly came up <laughs> right at the end. Oh my goodness. Nice. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm thinking we're close to 10 on Yeah, that. oh yeah. Beautiful fish, Mike. What a beautiful fish. Nice work. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Nice netting job. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna need to ice my wrist tonight for sure. That's getting close to 10 right there, boys. Sure. Look at that. Is that a beautiful fish or what? Coho on the fly. Yeah. Nice awesome. work. Awesome. Look at that where it was hooked. Uh huh. On the jaw there. Solid hook set. Shall we let, shall we let this guy go him back him and do Absolutely. his thing? Absolutely. All right. Okay, fish. Thanks for the. Thanks for the playing. You ready to go, huh? There you go. Hey everyone, we got more action after the break. Hey Rob, yeah, we're doing great out here. We just uh, caught a nice, oh, about a 10 pound blush coho. So there's fish to be had. So um, we're gonna get back to it. <laughs> Don't walk. Don't move your feet. Don't walk. Don't walk. Don't move your feet. Nice. <laughs> so when you walk down, the fish just keeps going and I can't net him. You want to come up here at some point. Good. Wow. Go, let go, let go. <laughs> wow. He's going to see me and take off again, okay? Just keep your rod bent. Oh, wow. All right, now bring your rod behind my head. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Nice job, Hillary. It's a big one. Wow. Oh. Wow. You did it. I did it. My my first silver on the fly. Oh, what an experience that is. Now it's pretty, pretty blush as you call it. Yeah. This red color. So we're, we're probably going to let him go. That oh, color, yeah. right? we don't, we don't want to keep this.
<laughs> More Northwest fishing right after this. Nice, that's another one. Let him run on that trigger finger. There you go. Perfect. You find a pot of them. Yes, sir. Woo. Man. Uh, a little old in the tooth right here. It's not a silver, it's a jack. Yeah, it's snuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's underneath that log. There he is. Yeah, that's a, that's, I can't I believe, believe that fish eat. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot that believe is, that. Uh, oh my God. That is one wow. old rotten Chinook right there, the jack. I'm not gonna pick that one up. Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's not uh, get a, uh, yeah. hold that net for me all now <laughs> for you. <laughs> Thought it was a silver when he took it just because of the color. Yeah, and he, he, and he, and he smashed it's it. It's crazy, he <laughs> smashed it. Look at that fish, he's an old, old boy. Yeah. He doesn't have much life left in him there. But he's still, <laughs> still ate. <eight>. Pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, that is insane. Nice fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's three fish out of this hole. Yeah. You got this? So we got another pink on the sonic bait fish. I think he threw the hook and got him in the top of the head there. So we'll try to get him. Actually, it's maybe no, hooked in the totally, mouth. Yeah, it's fair hooked. Fair hook, good. Yeah, he uh, he grabbed it, but he, he smacked it pretty hard, and I thought he might have yeah. tossed that hook, but yeah, they roll over and toss them up on their heads sometimes. Yeah, kind of get wrapped up a little, you know. Yeah, side bait is going to work again. We had some success up here with these uh, the other day from the boat. I think that's the I think that's the quarter ounce pattern. The pink and Brayden would be able to say exactly what that is, right? Oh, we got him good. Yeah, no, fair hooked all the way. Yeah. All right. And so, is this typical size for pinks? Or a little yeah, small, man. That's a female, so uh -huh. that's a that's a common size for here. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Okay, you want to keep that one? No, I'm going to let it go. Okay. Better do her thing. Keep these pinks coming back. <laughs> Let's press down just a little bit, Mike. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, Mike. man. Woo. Beautiful. I'm glad that one came to the net quick. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a hairy spot. Yeah, it's kind of a hairy spot. Saddle. Another nice big buck. Just drifting by, saw some silver sitting in a hole. Thought we'd pop in and throw a couple flies at him. A solid hook set right in the jaw. 
There you go. Isn't that a beauty? Boy, when they color up, they're yeah, they're, they're so pretty. They're pretty fish. It's a nice buck. Yep, probably about five pounds. Yeah, not so. as big as the last, but still no, a nice fish. No, definitely not as big as the last. Bye, fish. Nice work, Mike. <laughs> Good thing the guide's got good eyes because <laughs> I never see these fish. We're visiting with Wayne McGee, the owner of Alaska Trophy Adventures Lodge. Wayne, your uh, lodge has been in the family for a few years, hasn't it? Well, we've just, uh, we're in the process of wrapping up our seventh season here. Uh, and I have the privilege of being here with uh, most of my family, yeah. most of the time. My wife and my son Jacob, who's my partner, co-owner in the business. My son Cameron, who oversees operations here. And uh, even had my daughter here and uh, working with us for a few years. So it's been, it's been a family adventure and we love it. Wayne, we've got a chance to visit a little bit and you have a lifetime passion for the outdoors. Yeah, I do. Uh, ever since I was a young man, this was what my dream was. And yeah, after having lived in Africa and done fishing around the world as well, to be here in Alaska in this kind of a setting and to be able to open our doors and welcome people from all around the world to come and have the time of their lives, it's what, there's nothing that gives us greater pleasure. And to be the custodians of such an amazing resource that can provide such magical moments for people is, you know, a real privilege. Awesome. Well, I've definitely had a week of magical moments out here, <laughs> so I want to thank you for that. Well, it's been my pleasure, Mike. Thank you for coming, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys down the road. Yes, sir. If folks want to learn more about Alaska Trophy Adventures, how do they do that? Check us out on www.atalodge.com or Google Alaska Trophy Adventures Lodge or ATA Lodge. You'll find us, and uh, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to welcome you as well. For Rob, Hillary, Britton, and myself, we'll see you guys on the water. Thanks for watching. Thank you.